Shanti Welcome to this Sunday service, everybody. I'm Kalani, and this is a community service, Kalani Music, at patreon.com slash Kalani. Thanks for joining us for this music mindfulness presentation. This is probably going to be the last live stream from the World Drum Club channel, and we're going to be migrating this over. Uh, just where it's delivered, it'll be coming from the Kalani Das channel. So just make a note of that. I'll send you all uh, some reminders. Uh, the next two weeks are going to be off because I'm teaching out of town. So we will envision coming back towards the end of June, early July with more. Today's uh, topic is the visionary and the visionary is one of our shamanic archetypes and it the visionary is about many things one of the instruments of the visionary is the bell so today i'm honoring that by playing all sorts of different bells if you think about where bells are used uh, in our society and throughout history you can imagine that they are used in places of vision, of insight, and of um, knowledge, of places we go to pray, like churches and synagogues and mosques and temples. Bells exist in all those places. They also exist in places of learning like educational, you know, colleges, bells, <laughs> maybe too many bells uh, throughout grade school and high school, middle school. But they're there. Um, gongs, bells, chimes, singing bowls. Uh, these are all instruments of insight. From the Tibetan bell, finger symbols, Tibetan symbols, to the singing bowl, to even this bell. And this is a very special bell when I tell you about it. This bell was my father's, and, and he got it from his elementary school. I don't know how, not asking questions. <laughs> This was the school bell that his teacher used to ring to call all the students back to class. This bell. So here's a, here's a school bell. <laughs> it's probably a hundred years old or more, I'm sure. So as I play and as we contemplate uh, the visionary archetype and the qualities and how it relates to mindfulness. Uh, just think about your own experience 
in places or with, uh, with different kinds of bells, gongs, chimes, and how you relate to that and how the music, uh, that container we often create with the sound, whether it's a gong bath, crystal bowls, a bell choir, how all of those things help you and create uh, not only the space, but the platform, the environment for insight and creativity. So it's said um, that when we, when we embrace who we truly are, and I mean, when we follow our passion and we don't hide or, ob- or obscure, our true selves, our mission I'm talking about, your vision for yourself, your impulses, your natural creative impulses and desires. When we embrace that and we don't hide it because we're afraid of what other people might think or we're afraid of how people might judge us, right? When, when we represent our true selves, We speak our truth, we walk our truth, we walk our own path. When when we do that, and we are authentic, some indigenous people put it this way, we step into our sacred hoop. That is a place of power. And I'm sure you all know when you deny your own truth, you suffer. You can suffer soul loss. It can cause you anxiety. It can make you do other things like acting out or acting in a way that's rebellious. So let's meditate on that idea of stepping into our sacred hoop, so to speak, and being authentic. Every single one of us is different. We all have different gifts. We all have different aptitudes, interests, things we're good at, things we want to pursue. If we don't do those things, we not only dis- deny ourselves the, the potential right, or the benefits, we also deny everyone else of those things when we hold back, when we hide, when we change, when we conform. And is there pressure to conform in many cultures, whether it's a family or a group or society? Yes, there are. That's what we all have to navigate.
So here's something that you could try. And uh, you might be thinking, well, I don't have all of those lovely bells. Maybe you don't have any instruments. So here's what you can do. You can find something that is a bell, not the woman is a bell. <laughs> you can find something that can function as a bell around your environment, your home, your workplace, and you can hum or sing or chant along with that um, anytime. For example, When we look at the visionary, musically speaking, one of the healing salves of the visionary is what we call a power song. It's relating to truth. So if there's songs that you love, that you resonate with, with you resonate with, um, tune into those, listen to those, use those to gain confidence, to help you align your values and then take action that's aligned with those values. Make sure your actions align with your words and that your words align with your intuition, your thoughts, feelings, impulses, and emotions. A power song you can make up, uh, you can dedicate your voice. This is about speaking up as a, in, a, in a way you know, representing yourself. You can start by doing some simple chanting with vowel sounds like E, A, O. It doesn't have to be a song with words. You can play a drone and then you can make up, you can just sing anything you want. You can try it right now. for being here everybody I'm going to play a little bit more and send you on your way I really appreciate you dropping in today I appreciate the messages and everybody saying hello sending love to each other I hope you find ways to better align with your true self represent who you are and do what you love starting now 
if you haven't already.